Looking at the income tax formula, we're still focused on line one, that being income. Remembering that the first half of the income tax formula is, in essence, an income statement, although a strange one. Income up top, the equivalent of expenses being the deductions, getting us down to the equivalent of net income, that being taxable income. Our goal being the opposite of a normal goal for an income statement, to have the taxable income, the bottom line, as low as possible to reduce the number of taxes. When we look at the income, then the top line, the question is, is this income? And if it's income, is it something that we have to include as taxable income or is it exempt for some reason? In that case, or in this case, we're applying that concept to the taxable refunds. So if we look at the form uh, 1040, we're down here in other income from schedule one. This is the common layout that we would kind of expect if you were to create like the form 1040s from scratch, you might not put all of this stuff in the income line on page one of the 1040, but rather have summary lines that are gonna be leading to other schedules that have all the stuff on it. Why? Because that's gonna simplify the forms and people that have simplified tax returns will simply have less schedules to attach. Why didn't they do that before? Because before we had software, the idea was that they wanna put everything on one basically 1040 so everyone can just have one sheet and that was thought to be the easiest way, which it probably was at the time. But these days you're filing electronically, so it doesn't make a lot of sense or it's not a lot easier to just have one form that basically has one sheet that, that will conform to everybody. But you have this concept of other schedules that will feed into it. And so we'll see some play and see where the tax code goes going forward to see how they kind of format the form 1040 going forward, given that, given that structure.